David, welcome to Hibernian FC. How happy are you to be here? Yeah, delighted to be here. Um, I came into the place and coming off the back of a, a difficult season, I understand that uh, people want to put that behind them, um, but there's an excitement building with the, the new manager being announced. Um, and as I say, I'm just delighted to be a part of that and hopefully can, that can lead to success next season. Yeah, you mentioned the new manager being announced. You, you met him earlier today. What was that like? Yeah, it was great. Um, I played against his teams a hell of a lot, um, so I know his teams pretty well. So yeah, it was good Good to see the guys. Um, as I say, exciting times. The manager's got a lot of experience down south, um, did particularly well with, with Bristol City. And as I said, exciting times. Everybody's looking forward to it. Um, and I'm sure we can we put last season's disappointments uh, firmly behind us. What did he tell you about the role that, that you could play here? Yeah, obviously he's, he spoke about the experience, um, what, what uh, that brings. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just looking to perform. Um, coming off the back of an injury and uh, I'm fit now, which was, was kind of put an end to my, my season, which was unfortunate, which was, was going pretty well at the back end. Um, but yeah, he's just looking for me to add to the group and the quality uh, and bring that experience that hopefully I can, can help. Uh, the squad as a whole. Yeah, and after a number of years down south, you're finally back up here in Scotland. Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, I'm, as I say, I'm excited for the, the challenge. Obviously kept an eye on it. I have a lot of friends that play in the league. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time since I've played in, in the SPL. But uh, yeah, just, just really looking forward to it. Yeah, and I suppose for you, you've obviously seen Craig Gordon, Alan McGregor doing really well up here. You're younger than both of them. I suppose that's the kind of form that you want to replicate. Yeah, let's not... The, the, the two guys have done great as you mentioned but uh, you just have to focus on your, yourself um, as I say I was in a good run of form and unfortunately that injury put an end to that season so um, I'll be looking to get, get back to that as, as quickly as possible um, yeah and I think a lot of us made of age sometimes but uh, I think across a number of sports you're seeing older athletes go uh, a bit longer at the, the top end so hopefully I can, I can be the same as that and, and, and play well for the club yeah, and there's there's good competition now, isn't there? In terms of um, the goalkeepers' union, really everyone going for that that starting spot. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's the same at, at most top clubs, and this this will be no different. Um, I'm just looking to add to it um, and 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 help the squad um, do a lot better than last season because it was disappointing for the the position in the league and where they finished and I know there was a lot of upheaval and stuff with the managers changing but um, you're never as far behind in football as, as you think you are um, and we'll be looking to put that right and have a good strong pre-season and, and uh, fire straight in the, the league and, and start well. How does that help when the goalkeeping department is so competitive as younger players as well that are kind of teetering on, on the edge of the first team too? Yeah of course it, it just drives performance I think that's something the manager mentioned today that he wanted a strong squad um, and we've got some good young goalkeepers here as well uh, so yeah I'll just drive performance hopefully I, if I can help any of the young lads along um, then that, that's great um, but first and foremost it'll be about performing and, and, and playing well uh, for the club yeah, and you mentioned your experience obviously there is quite a, a young dressing room here it'll be a, a big role for you to play behind the scenes yeah, yeah, it will be. I, I'm not one of those guys that will come in and, and start telling people what to do. I think that it naturally lends itself that experience uh, just in terms of communication on the pitch and, uh, and training Monday to Friday. So that will be something that will naturally happen. Um, but yeah, in, in here for any, any lads, um, it's, especially goalkeepers, obviously the young lads coming through um, will pick up things like, like I've done over the course of my career. So yeah, that's an important um, position goalkeeper and hopefully I can add to that group and, and add to the team Yeah and you mentioned obviously last year was a, a disappointing one for, for Hibs what are your aims and ambitions going into the new campaign? Well I think ultimately I mean Hibs should be looking to be the third best team in this country I think that's a realistic um, well that's a, a necessity really um, and with the European Conference League now I think European football has, has got to be a minimum aim for the club um, and, and competing in cup competitions I think that's a normal aim and it should be always a aim um, and then you just see how you start the season and go for there so um, yeah we know it's been a disappointing season and we know there's a lot, a hell of a lot of hard work to get there um, 
but as I say, there's no reason why we why we can't do that. So that, that for me anyway, just coming into the, the building the first couple of days, it lends itself to being successful and and being um, a strong top six side um, battling for Europe every year, and that should be the demands that we put on ourselves. And you've seen a couple of lads around the building today, Kevin Nisbet, Paul Hanlon, people that obviously you know well from the Scotland setup. Yeah, I know a few of the lads here, um, and I know the quality that's here. Um, and the lads are working hard, even even in close season. Everybody thinks it's just holiday time, but obviously Nizzy with injuries working hard, Paul's in here working it as well. So um, yeah, listen, there's a real experience here. They talk about my experience, but I don't have that ex- ASPL experience that these lads have. So I'll be leaning on them as well. Um, but yeah, these lads will be hurting after last season, but more than enough um, confidence that that we can turn that around pretty quickly. Yeah, just finally, there's there's just under a. A month until pre-season gets gets underway. How much are you looking forward to to that start date and then really kicking on from that point? Yeah, that's it. Um, I was looking forward to the see who the manager was, uh, and then I think when that gets put in place, the excitement builds, and obviously the lads will be looking forward to new signings coming in, and everybody will be looking to impress the new manager pre-season. And I think it's good that the manager uh, is in place and, and gets that pre-season under his belt to. To do exactly what he, he he feels he needs in the squad, so yeah, really looking forward to it. And as I say, hopefully we can kick on and get a good start come the, the start of the season. Absolutely, David. Good luck at Hibs. Thank you.